guys, my name is Brittany and I'm here to show you how to draw a warthog. Um, so let's jump right into it. You can draw with markers, with crayons, with pencils, whatever you're most comfortable working with, um, whatever fits you best. Um, we have a couple warthogs at Franklin Park Zoo and they have a lot of great features that I love to draw. So what we're going to do is we're first going to start by drawing like an oval shape. So we're going to draw a nice big oval, just like that. Very, very lightly. Um, that way we don't, you know, kind of interrupt our future drawing that's going to go over this. And then we're going to draw a second oval. So we're going to do this a little bit more like sideways. So this is going to form the body. All right. So you're going to have this little one and then you're going to have this big one. Kind of looks like a big eye right now. All right. And then we want to just kind of draw where the legs are going to go. So usually I like to do kind of a line with like a circle at the end. So the circle just like that. And we can leave that just as it is for now. And I always like to do the little tail like that so now we know kind of where most of the things are gonna go okay so let's do the main part of the warthog and I like to start with the most important features of the animal because it helps us get a sense of where things are supposed to go so I like to start by drawing the eyes usually so we're gonna draw one eye just like that and that kind of gives us a sense of where everything's going to be. The other eye is going to be kind of covered a little bit by, um, by its hair, so we're not going to draw that. And now let's put down the ears. And that will help us outline the face. So we'll do a big old floppy ear right near the eye. Just give it a little bit of space. What helps is like maybe if you're struggling with the shape of the ears to do like another oval there and that kind of helps outlining. All right, so that kind of gives us a sense of where things are starting to go. Now, towards the bottom of this oval, we're gonna start working on the snout. So under the oval, halfway between this leg circle and this uh, face circle, we're gonna start drawing the snout. So the snout all actually comes all the way down to here. Big snouts. So what we do is draw just like that. And you kind of have it come upwards. There we go. And I like to add extra lines. That helps me figure out where things are gonna go. So warthogs, let me draw those nostrils really quick. There you go. So warthogs have these great and features and they're called tusks so they help with digging with fighting with any number of things in their natural habitat so we're gonna add the tusks now toward near their snout so we're gonna come outwards we're gonna make a big bump and that bump is where the tusk is gonna come out we'll do that on the other side too there we go and now we're gonna add these big curvy tusks just like that. You know what? You can make them as big or as small as you'd like. Because warthogs do have different sized tusks and they do get pretty big, but sometimes you'll see a warthog with smaller tusks. Alright. Just like that. So that's coming along pretty great. Now it's kind of hard to see how does it connect to the eyes and ears. Well, we're going to do the rest of the face right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to show that the snout comes all the way up. So I'm going to put a line right here, just next to this tusk. And we're going to do another line right here. And it kind of shows that the snout comes up. And we're also going to come over to the right side near the edge of this circle here, this first circle. And we're going to kind of outline where its cheek is. That way, it all connects. Just like that. Perfect. 
I also like to add other little details. I like to add fur and things like that um, because warthogs do have like a little bit of fur here and there so it looks kind of cute. Alright, so that's coming together pretty nicely. Now we're going to go to the other ear. We're going to start over there. So if you go to the left side, so right over here, we're going to start at the edge of this other side of the circle. Alright, and we're going to do an ear there. Now it's going to look a little different than the first one we did because it's at a different angle. So we're viewing it from a different side. There we go, perfect. And it's not gonna come down as much because now we get to do what, in my opinion, is the most fun part of the drawing. We get to draw the hair. So our warthogs have some really, really fabulous hair. So anytime um, that you may have visited the zoo in the past and seen them on exhibit, you may have noticed they have this really nice long hair um, towards the top of their head and kind of along their back and it's kind of hard to tell you how to draw it so what i like to tell people is to kind of just do the hair however they like they can have extra long hair or maybe some short hair i like to do a bunch of different lines and i just try to make some bits darker near the edge and that kind of helps outline it a little bit so let's just make these bits darker so i can tell that's the edge and it's okay if it starts to cover some of the ear, that's fine. And we're gonna have it come down near the front of the face because it actually covers up the other eye. There we go, just like that. So that's why we can't quite see the other eye. And sometimes I like to do these like little scribbles. It kind of helps with uh, making it look like there's like shadows. There we go, just like that. But that's up to you. It can be really hard to do that, especially if you're using crayons or markers. Okay, so now we're going to do the rest of the hair. So on more hogs, the hair actually kind of goes down their back a little bit. So we're going to go back behind this ear. And we don't want to draw over the ear, so be really careful. But if you make a mistake, that's okay. We're going to go down, and we're going to make it drape down the side. Very, very fabulous. So I have very, very short hair. I cannot imagine what it must be like to have such long hair. I wonder how they brush their hair in the morning. <laughs> All right, perfect. That looks great. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make the back of the body. We're gonna make that, we're gonna finalize it, darken it up a little. And it's not a perfect oval, so we're going to do like a little dent right there, just to show that the body has like a really nice shape to it. Just like that. I'm going to bring it all the way down to the side. Perfect. Okay, and now we're going to work on the feet a little bit. So let's bring that down. Okay, so the think of the legs as like little thin tree trunks. They're just kind of relatively straight, maybe a little bit of a bump near the middle. And it's going to flare out towards the side as it comes down at the end. And now that is where we're going to draw more fur because they have more fur near their hooves. So you can do this like zigzaggy pattern and that looks really great for fur. And then the hooves themselves, you just kind of draw them in just like that. Just a couple of simple lines. And then we do the exact same thing for the other leg. So nice little tree trunk shape. Flares out. Perfect. A little bit of a zigzag near the bottom. And then we're going to do more of a curve right here. And flat out. There we go. Perfect. Now something I didn't mention earlier is that we're gonna draw one of the other legs in the background. So this is one of the harder parts of the drawing and always the part I have the most trouble with. So don't worry if you have trouble with it too. Um, so basically right below the snout, we're gonna draw the final leg and we're gonna draw it a lot shorter and a little bit smaller than the other ones. 
So we're going to come down and we're going to do a smaller tree trunk shape, just like that. Zigzag. And we'll do just the same exact thing. I like to do it more blurry and like simple. That way it's like, oh, it's not near the front. Okay. Perfect. Make things a little bit better looking. Okay, and then finally, I'm just going to add a, a bit of a belly right here. Finish that off. And what am I missing, guys? There is something here that I am missing. It's a very important feature for the warthogs. That's right, so I'm missing the tail. So I want to finish up the tail now. And the tail is really, really cool. So I'm going to... That, but a little bit tricky. We want to make sure we have like a very thin, almost like a little curved branch right here. And then I like to just go totally wild with the tail. Sometimes it doesn't look like an actual warthog tail, but that's okay. Oh, there we go. What matters is being creative and having fun with it. Okay, so that is how you draw a warthog. You can go in and what you can do is you can do more details, you can add lines. What I like to tell people is to look at a picture of a warthog and try to capture what you like most about that animal in your drawing. Um, looking at pictures is a really great way to help you learn how to draw and it really gets you started on how animals um, how they look um, and how you can determine what shapes are most important. Thank you and I hope you have a really great day.